Hey guys, it's me, a little surfetched, and welcome back to Pokemon Violet. I trained up some Pokemon in between episodes. I trained up like every Pokemon I had to like level 42. So Tico evolved into a Dedun Sparse. Uh, Wally evolved into Kilowatch Roll. Dory evolved into Dolive, and then Arboliba. And then our shiny Sinistee saves should stay the same. And then our shiny Dawn Fan evolved. Which I never named. <laughs> our shiny Fan Bee evolved into Dawn Fan, which I never named for some reason. Um, what I want to do before we move on, I messed up the order of the gyms. The next gym we're actually taking on is the Glaciato gym. No, the Montevera gym. This one. But first, what I want to do is head to Zapapico. Oh wait, no! I never showed you that I got a shiny Sinistee. I just like completely skipped over that. Yeah, I got a shiny Sinistee while trying to find uh, Sinistee chips in between episodes. You probably just like shiny Sinistee. When did that happen? Yeah, I was actually, like, resetting outside of here, and I ended up getting it. I was amazed. I was confused, but also just like, what? But yeah, we ended up getting that, and I, w I was kind of happy, but, like, you know, it's just a Sinistee. It wasn't the phony. It wasn't the antique form. I would have loved to have the phony one. Fainting a little ways outside of town when a wild Pokemon Center lady appeared in queue to find rescue. Okay. Uh, I need to look for someone with orange text. That is probably where I'm gonna find who I'm looking for. Do you got orange text? Oh, look at the hippopodas. You don't have any text. Oh, I think you might be. Oh, fancy a trade. Yes. A set of malicious armor. Okay. There, that's what I want. Charlos is evolving. Not into the form that I love. I like the other one better, but this one's pretty cool too. I'll take this one. Surreal Edge. I like Armor Rouge better. Oh, I will definitely take that. That'll definitely be useful. Even though I don't think I'm going to use you for this gym, just because of the whole fact that it's ghost type and I'm ghost type, but like, you know. Can't help, can't hurt to help with that item. Let's see what other held items I have. Protein. Alright. That's what I want. Uh, I need some, like, oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna give that to you. And then, yeah, also, my Frigibax evolved into whatever this thing is. I have no idea what this thing's name is. Arctabax. So that's cool. I don't remember, like, at what level it evolves again, but I know it's a pretty cool Pokemon. Also, I have no idea when it's supposed to learn Crunch, but I feel like it has to, doesn't it?
I have no good notes right now. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Lava plume, what? I need a good grass move on him. Oh, actually, I might. I might just give you Terra Blast. Alright. So all that aside, let's move on to the Mountain of Era Gym, which is up here. This is what gym we're taking on today. So I looked at the levels wrong, um, which is fine. Yeah, I, I, I don't... I, I'm not ready to face the Psychic Gym just yet. It's the seventh gym. I thought it was the sixth. But that's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Okay, I think I'm gonna have Tinker out in the farm. I think that'll be a good matchup for who's up front. Welcome to the Mountain of Era Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Fetch, yes? Great. Now in order to face gym leader Rhyme, you'll need to pass the gym test. You're at the Mountain of Era Gym. That means warming up the audience for the main event. That's right. You're the opening act. You drive us to get up on the stage and show us some dead fierce Pokemon battles and get the crowd excited before the gym leader's concert begins. You can start the gym test by speaking with MC Sledge in front of the stage outside. I get out there and have fun. Oh, I forgot this gym is double battles. What move do you have? I think you have a punch. Yeah, I'm gonna put you up here alongside Tinker. You two. You two are gonna get your battle fill this episode. Forgot this is the third ever double battle gym. Yo, Trina, you're the one. You're the one performing the opening act today. My name's MC Sledge. This is the stage right here. So here's the deal. We're gonna have you do some double battles. That's where you have two Pokemon fight on each side. They'll let you sledge up double the opponents and get the audience twice as excited. The venue will be so hot, it'll melt the Molten of Era snow. Once you get the audience worked up and ready to go, that'll be the cue for our leader to take the stage. That's how you pass our gym test, yo. Your opening act begins as soon as you get up on the stage, so there'll be no backing down until you win three times in a row. So make sure you're ready. You get on the deets for the opening act and our gym test, ready to sledge him up? Yes. Sweet, just play it by ear. You'll do great. Head up on the stage. So our first battle... Gym test. Warm up the audience for Rhyme's concert. What's up, Montana Vera? Today's opening act will be three back-to-back -back double battles by our challenger here, Fetch. The first of their three opponents will be a young performer who makes it look like a breeze. It's a preschooler. The one and only, Toss. Double battles? That means one plus one, right? Can you do that half? Hey, you're the one that's a preschooler. Uh, I'm... I'm old. You know what, you're going to attack him, and you're going to attack Grievar. Do a little cross-action. Oh, 
Boom! I defeated Tess. One plus one is two, right? Right? I don't know, is it? Are you sure, kid? I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it's definitely two. Getting the audience all hyped up. The audience is cheering, got a little louder. The Monta Nevera stage has all the latest tech. The more excited the audience gets, the more the stage will light up. Keep on sledging, you got this. And our challenger's next opponent will be a musician with a bit of a unique style. It's Lonnie! Strong compliments, weak. The harmony of two Pokemon battling in unison. I'll challenge the one, eh? Alright, Mischievous and Haunter. You can take out that one, you can take out that one. No! How did you not kill? Oh, well that's dead. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> Gym Leader Lonnie is defeated. Or Gym Trainer Lonnie. That wasn't Harmony, it was Cacophony. That's a removed ability. The audience is really getting excited. Your opening act turned and cheering. Act is turned and cheering, and the stage lighting up to. Excuse me? Am I having a stroke or something? The opening acts turned, the cheering, and the stage lighting up to 11. What a surprise for our new challenger! Who would have thought they'd sledge it up this much? Next is your last opponent, and it's none other than... Me, MC Sledge! Being an MC isn't my only forte. I can battle too. I'll sludge you up real good in a double battle. This is Insace Edge. Sableye and Driftland. Oh, that's perfect. Uh oh. Ooh, that that was that was scary. Those things say I use mean luck. Well, that's pretty mean. You know, it's not like I was gonna escape it anyway. Nice move choice. He's really sledging up MC Sledge. And bye. I did it. Goodbye, Sibyl. Speeded Gym Chainer and MC Sledge. It was you who sledged me up. Oh, the gym floor is purple now. Are the houndstone gonna jump out of the ground? The excitement, the audience's excitement has reached a fever pitch. Whoa, Austin, that was a great battle. How lucky, that was a rare sight. Thank you, Fetch. Congratulations, you passed the gym test. Give him a round of applause, everybody. He did it. It's so good. 
I feel a scary good sense of unity in the crowd. Perfecto. We're ready to go for the main event. Come on, everybody. Say it with me. This is what you've all been waiting for. Give it up for the MC of Rip Rhyme. The MC of R.I.P. Rhyme, 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 rhyme. What's all this noise I'm hearing? The crowd's so loud it could wake the dead. Let me tell you what you want to hear. Tell you, tell you what I want to hear. Y'all feeling good? Yeah, we're feeling good. Rhyme, 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 rhyme. Woo! Thanks for the killer opener, baby. Now let's get this started for real. Congrats on the gym test. That was sick, yo. Thanks. Give us a minute for some rhyme time. You feel me? Go ahead and tell the lobby staff where you passed. I'm cold. Yo! Okay, I'm gonna heal first. Quillfish selling tires? I'm sorry, that's not that's not good business. That is like terrible. <laughs> Quillfish selling tires. And I wish my plaza was in this game. I miss my plaza. It might be in like DLC except there's been it's been leaked that there is DLC coming, so my plaza might be in a DLC. Also the Ultra Beast might be too, because uh, the item you get for completing 400 Pokemon in the Pokedex is the Beast Ball. So Ultra Beast might be back too. Who knows? Amazing job, Fetch. You are a fantastic opening act. That's the gym test cleared, then. Well done. You now earn the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. You ready to challenge the gym leader, Ryan? The MC of RIP? Let's do it. Very well. Allow me to show you to the battle court. <coughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. Yo yo! Sounds like there might be a rap battle going on over the stage. It's a rap battle. This is my time, this is my day, you're not gonna stand in my way. Listen up, Prime. Your reign ends here. You're gonna get rung up by this pro cashier. Boom, ch boom, boom, ch boom! Pro cashier, well, I'm about to check out. Must have got your rhymes on a deep discount. Please, you think you can step to my game? Pull like out rhyme right here in my name. I'm a specter from which there is no protector. Invict me onto me, you will render. When the crowd sees you, you're a mere pretender. You want to end my reign? Yeah, keep dreaming. Buy a book of rhymes, kid, and start reading. Boom, 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 boom. I'm done, you won. RM's totally whiffed, but I'll be back, maybe after my next shift. Hold up, where are you going? That's all you got? After my next shift, seriously? Bars over jokes, come on. That was over way too fast. It gets boring around the crowd if no one makes me fight to keep it. Hmm? Hey, my opener's back. You here for a rap battle or a gym battle? I'm here for a gym battle. As if I needed to ask. You were captivated about that show I put on, huh? I rap what's in my soul, baby. Weaving words into a symphony of poetry. Don't try it with me. You won't last one round. I'm like a Sableye. If I mean, look, we'll lock you down. Like that? You feel me? Let's do it. <laughs> well, let's get to it. You're a Pokemon trainer, so battle me and show me who you are. It's not all... My music's not all that touch. That tops the charts. My skill with ghost types are the best around.
lest you forget it. The name is Rhyme, and I'm known as the MC of R.I.P. Dead or alive, let's make this a vibe. I we were just going to stare at her for a long time. I was like, when is it going to move on? Mimikyu and... Yeah. Mimikyu and the other one. We don't mess around here in Montevera. On my stage, we double battle. Don't let it scare ya. Okay, so I'm just going to drain and kiss Mimikyu because it has... I know it's a villain. I'm not stupid. Show us an awesome battle, Rhyme, and you too, student kid. Seriously? Stop it. Yeah, I knew this was gonna happen because I already know it's ability. Disguise. It's it's it was a definite I knew it was gonna happen. Nice, he totally nailed that Pokemon's weakness without batting it in. Oh, it rose my attack. That's awesome. I think I'm gonna take them both out in this last go. Because now that Mimikyu is dead, I can use that. Now that Mimikyu's disguise is broken, I can use that. That's fine. Okay. Oh my gosh, Cerula just got 666 experience. Okay, let me see. Are you gonna level up Caliente? Yes, you did. Seed bomb? Oh, heck yes. Get rid of Razor Leaf. Okay, we've got. I know it's Houndstone and then Toxtricity. Houndstone. What a Rams Pokemon went down. Woo, this is so exciting. Actually, two of her Pokemon went down. Oh, you don't stand a chance. Hmm. I don't think it matters, really. Um... I'm going to heal you. I want to double team Cerulege, but... Uh, not Cerulege. I want to double team him, but the problem is I've got low health. Kick back, relax, and enjoy this last trap. Turn it up for a great, violent good time. Oh, there comes the Houndstone. I love Greybard and Houndstone's like whole gimmick of like hiding in the ground and then popping out. And this is also the most adorable picture ever. Look at that. Look at his dancing. When I'm on the mic, even the dead rise up. DJ G Rave over there, sure feeling it. This is probably my favorite theme of the entire series. In the entire game, not the entire series. Definitely not. But this is probably up there as one of my two favorites. The. Uh. The. After you've Dynamaxed your. After you've Terrasalized your Pokemon theme. Ghost Terrasalization is the bomb! You're really killing it, Rhyme! Uh-oh. 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 Ooh, that's not good. That's fine, though. That's fine, though. That's, that's fine. Because we can kill Toxtricity this turn.
then I'll heal Caliente just because I'm worried about him. We can kill Toxtricity this turn, and then we can double team Houndstone. Oh, that hurt. That hurt, that hurt, that hurt, that hurt. Ooh. Someone's going down. Someone's going down. I feel like someone's going down here. No, I need you to attack. I need you to just attack. And I can't play the risk game anymore. I can't play that game anymore. Caliente, I'm so sorry if you die. Oh, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, that's not fine though, that's a problem. Oh no, okay, that's fine, that's fine, I can just do this. Heal you with this, and we can just spend the turn healing. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Make this a defensive turn. Yes, that's what I wanted you to do. And then you are going to heal take a ton. We won. I wanted to double team him, but then he did Phantom Force. But that's fine, that's fine. I won. That was stressful. After losing two Pokemon last episode, I'm like nervous now. You defeated Gym Leader Rhyme. Giving up the ghost's not really my style. I'll let you have this one though, baby. Huh, great battle. Chilling and thrilling. You've got the spirit, kid. You are my gym badge, alright. How about a VIP pass to my next show, too? Walton of gym defeated. With six gym badges, it'll be easier to catch Pokemon up, up to level 50, and they'll listen to what you have to say, too. I'm feeling so good that I think I'm gonna let you have this. Ooh, a Shadow Ball. Too bad it's over. Make your way back to my stage sometime. Maybe next time we rap battle instead. Who knows? I'm sure you've got some scary good adventures ahead. I'll be cheering for you later. I'll be cheering for you. Later! Six badges down, or six gems down. Obviously, I have more than six badges. Greetings once more, Fetch. I was watching your battle with the gym leader from the sidelines, and I must say, I thought it was simply excellent. Full marks, gold star, extra credit to you. Hardly had you sent out Tinkaton before you launched into your strategy. That unrelenting offensive, that flurry of attacks, what an efficient way to corner the opponent. I want artfully trained Pokemon in such a vibrant palette of moves. Oh, I do beg your pardon, I didn't mean to let my emotions run mug like that. Ahem, in summary, I simply wanted to say that you seem to have gotten even stronger. I must admit I'm eager for you to gather all the gym badges. As a member of the Elite Four, I wait the day you come to face me with great anticipation. Oh, but one thing. Don't let your studies fall by the wayside. Be sure to come to the Academy now and then. I just, like, stopped going to the Academy because I don't care about school. Like, I honestly couldn't care less about going to class. I just don't care. It's... Honestly, I think it's kind of stupid. Don't 
only thing that going to class does, it gets you some items, I, if I remember correctly, and it reveals the locations of... The history class, I think, reveals the locations of the four sub-legendaries, the dark legendaries. But, like, I can always look them up. It's, like, not hard to look it up. So, like, I've never been too upset about, like, skipping out of class. But now, next, we've got the Glaciato Gym. Or the Alfornado Gym. And I think I'm going to take it on in this episode, too. I'm going to do is some training. Also... I'm going to need to do some training. Because I am under level for the gym. I have checked the levels, and I'm under the highest level. So I'm definitely going to have to do just a bit of training. But that shouldn't be too hard. This is my spot. If you want to camp, go find a spot of your own. Hiker Manuela. Ooh, that's not good. That's no bueno. Oh yeah, and look who we added back to the team! The long-awaited return of Sal. I missed you so much, Sal. You were one of my early favorites, but like since you weren't a new Pokemon, I did I kind of tossed you away. Since we lost two team members, I wanted to bring back Sal because Sal is one of my favorite team members of the series. Oh, you know what would be great for us? A certain ground type that we lost last time. Still upset about that. I'm still upset about losing Rudel. Okay, the green head uses it. Okay, so um so if I use fire moves, does the red head shoot it out? No, the green head. Okay, that's kind of sad, but you know what? That's fine. The loser. I don't know what that Pokemon is. We fought this thing before. I can never remember what Mold Breaker does. Does it like remove the effects of abilities or something? Like that's the only thing I can think of at the moment. Is that is what it does? But who knows. Oh, are you just here for a hike, not to camp? Oh, did you see him crying? I'm so sorry, buddy. It's okay, it'll all be okay. You've got adorableness, okay? You're fine. You've got the adorable side. You, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. Nothing happens to the adorable ones. Uh, I need to... put a teleport mark on... I need to put a mark over here. Set as destination. So we're gonna head this way. We're gonna take the long route. Also because I want to, like see a bunch of Pokemon. I want to see if on the way we might be able to find, like, a cool teammate to take one of my encounters, because, like, we need to use encounters. I still got 20 left. 
I think I got 21 left plus one raid, and I'm saving the raid for a little bit. And I want to save some encounters for when we get down into the post, not the post game, but after the post game. Before the post game. It's like the last thing before the post game. Before the credits roll. I want to try to save an encounter for what we're going for there. I am hungry. My stomach is growling because I'm hungry. Was this? Oh, look, I like how I just like fly. Just whee! These levels are really high, though. I don't want to be here. Just want to, just want to like go past. Just go past. You know, I'll be fine. We're not here yet. That'll be for much later. Oh, I saw that Psyduck spawn in the Azumarill, in the Marrow and Azumarill thing. I thought for a split second that was a shiny Azumarill. Now, just like, I mean, I already I'm fun with you, but like, I'll take another one. I almost just drove off a cliff. I almost just drove off there. That wouldn't have ended well for me. I feel like at this point the only shiny I wouldn't take is Mousehold, because like, I hate Mousehold and it also has one of the worst shinies ever, so like, it's just a two for one sadness. There's nothing good about it. It's, it's the worst, it's the worst. Terrible. Oh yeah, before like the game crashes and I lose my gym progress up to this point, I'm gonna save. Just gonna do a quick save, just, just you know, cause I don't wanna lose the progress I've had. I mean, you already know what happened last time. I lost the progress and then I ended up dying. Ended up losing two Pokemon as well, so, like, I don't want that to happen again. Granted, the, the losing progress wasn't related, didn't relate to the Pokemon dying, but you know, you know what I mean. It's like a bad omen. It was like, stuff already went wrong, it's just gonna be. And it did. It got worse. Watch out. Okay. I'm gonna fight trainers along the way. They say there's a tunnel around here that leads to the crater, great crater of Paldea. Well, uh, I can't go in yet. So, good luck with that, man. Oh my gosh, I can see the city. Oh, I broke him. I can see the city through the ground. Oh no, my defense has been lowered. It looks like I my defense has been lowered. Honestly, Tinkaton has really grown on me. I thought it was a really weird Pokemon when it was first leaked, but it's grown on me. I really like it. Plus, I mean, it's like kind of become our new MVP after, um, after Rudel died. Tinker has taken the mantle of the MVP slot.
Which, which you know what? I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad about that. Because someone needs to be the MVP, and if, and if it can't be Rudel anymore, I'm glad it's Tinker. I have, okay, I have to, like, once again, find the weird cave that leads up there, and then get up there. You know, I've never thought to, like, capture any of these Terra Pokemon, the wild Terra Pokemon, but, like, I don't know, I just never thought to capture them. I know that's, like, how you can get crazy cool different terrestrialized forms of Pokemon, but, like, I don't know, it's never, like, really occurred to me that they're of much use. Kill it. Pinsir. Not Pinsir. Paris is such a hard shiny to determine if it's shiny or not. Oh no, I ran into a bird. It's like Par Pins not Paris. Um or Pinsir. Uh Persian is like I can hardly remember which part of it actually changes. And like what it changes to. I think like its ears get like a slightly lighter color. And I can't remember if the gem turns blue or not. Like, in my head, I have it that the gem turns blue, but, like, I could very well be wrong. And almost certainly I am wrong, but who knows. Oh, I'm not right in the elevator. Oh, I think I broke it. You know, I hate when it does that. When my Pokemon just freaks out. I mean, I'm glad it doesn't get you stuck like that, though. I, I'm glad that, like, after a few seconds, it's like, oh, yeah, maybe you're stuck. Maybe I should fix that for you. And then teleports you back to where you last were. Watch out. Did someone just say it's so blue? Whee! Whee! West Province, Area 1. Did I? I already battled you. I battled some trainers already. Woo! I love the the drift, the just the wow. Like that's fun. That's fun just drifting just one. Woo! 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 Oh, watch out! Don't want to crash into a into a poor defenseless uh, Pokemon. That wouldn't be good. That wouldn't be cool. Jeez, these Pokemon just like come out of nowhere. They come out of nowhere, and I'm like gonna crash into one. It's gonna be sad. Okay, I just had to check if that was a shiny Fampy. I know Fampy is a harder shiny to tell as well, so like, I just, I just had to check, I just had to check. There's a shiny Pokemon I do want. It is... Oh, what was that back there that I literally just like passed and I wanted to, it's shiny. I can't remember now. 
I do want Capsicith. I know that's a good shiny. Well, like, I know it's a Vault Farm is a good shiny, but, like, uh, Capsicith's kind of just like winning. Um, excuse me. Who do you think you are? Icy Wind! Oh, that horse is just freaking out. Okay, watch out, watch out. Important trainer coming through. Excuse me. Oh, not the monkey. I don't want to hit the monkey. That wouldn't be good for anyone. That's not shiny. That's not shiny. I can tell. I just wanted to check, though. You know, I had to check. But I could kind of tell that it was, not, it was not shiny, because, like, Fampy is hard to spot, but, like, if you're looking, it is easy to tell, because, like, Fampy's shiny is just, like, a little bit lighter. It's, like, saturated a little bit. Ah. A cool shiny to get here would be Slazzle, but like, slammed it, but like, I'm also like, always worried that like, I'm like, probably drained of luck at this point when it comes to finding the right gender for shinies, because I found, on my first try, I found a shiny female combi, so like, I feel like at this point, in my shiny hunting life, like, I've run out of luck. There's no more luck in my body. And I just know I'm going to encounter, like, a male Slazzle. Like, I know there's ways to counter that with, like, ability. There's, like, an ability that lets you sort of, like, have a 50% gender instead of, like, the low 12% chance gender thing. But, like, you know, it's, it's never really, like... I always, like, kind of, like, the, the little bit of a challenge, sort of, am I gonna get it or am I not gonna get it? Tamara the Dragon Team! Oh, well, you're just a bunch of this. My dragon killer. I was about to say, that did more damage than I thought it was going to do. But that makes sense now that it was a critical hit. Oh, and Sligoo, he's an adorable Pokemon. I like Sligoo. I like the Goomy line. Goomy is adorable. I think it is definitely one of the better pseudo legendaries in the Just adorable. My favorite pseudo legendary is uh, Salamence. I really love Salamence. If I had to say a second option, it would be Hydreigon. And then a third option might be Doomy or Metagross. One of those two. The third option would be Dragonite. Fourth place is either Doomy or Sleep. Either Doomy or Metagross. But yeah, third place is Dragonite. Like how I'm also just like not looking at Tinker this entire battle. <laughs> Crush him with your Gigaton Hammer. Bonk. Gigaton Hammer is like such a cool move. 
thank you for the help. Goodbye! Okay, tomorrow the Dragon Tamer. My camera is like slowly moving. Oh, we got new outbreaks. Well, ain't that just amazing? A magneton. When did I catch a magneton? We got a haunter. When did I catch a haunter? <laughs> we got a ghastly. When did I catch a ghastly? When did I catch half these Pokemon? We're at 12 badges already? Wow. Wait, how are we at 12 badges? We've only defeated two Team Star, three Titans. No, we defeated three Team Star. Let me. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see. 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 We defeated three Team Star, haven't we? Yeah, because we've beaten Alfonso. That's the third one. Yeah, okay. I was about to say, I thought we only took on two, but now I remember. We have beaten Alfonso, and that's the third one. So, yeah. It was my fault. I'm wrong. But I corrected myself. Okay. Did you see him fall? Poor little guy. He didn't, he didn't fall far, but still. Wait a minute. You look exactly like MC Sledge. How can this be? Ah! Get wrecked. Get hammered. Bonk. Not very effective. Not very effective. What do you mean by that? That's not fair. So yeah, the only problem with Gigaton Hammer is that you can't use it twice in a row. Skitter Smack. What the heck? Oh, it's Bug Type. Um. I'll get rid of Rock Smash. Get some more coverage, and so Rock Smash, like, sucks. I've, like, not used it. Backpacker Eto. The legs are about to give out, and I'm about to give up. No, that's sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Whee! I just, for some reason, I just really love to jump on Maridon and Coridon. I don't know why, I just love to jump. Maybe it's something about how how they how they jump better and better than uh Weird era, in my opinion, but like, I don't know. I just really love to just watch them jump. They got the hops, they got the bounces, and they got the zoomies. Ooh, I could have caught an Ombreon from the wild instead of, I think, I got it from a raid. I think the only evolution I actually evolved from Eevee was uh, Jolteon. I think I literally caught the rest of them from either raids or the ones that spawn in the wild. <gasps> Shiny! Shiny! Oh, it's male, but that's still a shiny. I will take that. That is my second shiny found in a series. In the series. Like, on video.
I will take that. I was just talking about Shiny Selenia earlier. Like in this in this video I was just talking about Shiny Selenia. So like that's pretty cool. Like we talked about it and I just manifested it. I don't want to do damage to it though. That's the problem. I'll give it another gold the Ultra Ball and then we'll try Dusk Balls. Because we are in a cave. So they do have a better chance of working here. That is cool. That is the third shiny. That's the fourth shiny I've caught on this account. But the second shiny that we've caught in video. I've yet to find a new Pokemon shiny on this account. All of them are shiny Pokemon from another generation so far. But I will take that. I'm not going to use this thing because it doesn't evolve. But I will take that. I think if I remember, there is a bug back in Sun and Moon where you could actually evolve a male Slandit. But that's cool. That's a cool. I was looking at it and I was like, wait, that thing's white and like bluish. It's a shiny! I'm so glad I came down here. That's why I came down this little path here was to see if I could get a shiny. And I did. Well, that just made my day. Oh, watch out. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be taking on the second gym here just because I am running out of time. Not for the episode, but, like, I need to get to, like, bed. So, like, I'm running out of time before I need to get to bed. So, like, we'll end here, and next time we will take on the gym, but before I do anything, I actually kind of want to catch this thing. Because this thing looks adorable. Duckspin. This is my encounter. This is my encounter. This is an encounter. I want this. I like its cry. It'll be a good fairy type to have if Tinkaton ever dies. I don't think Tinkaton is going to die. I wanted to use Fido on my main playthrough, but then, like, when I saw Annihilate, I immediately, like, dropped him from the team. Because then, at the time, I thought Grievard would be better. And then, I saw Houndstone, and I regret that decision. I mean, at the end of the day, I still didn't go with Grievard. I went with a shiny cloth on my final team. But like, still, I regret ever dropping Fido, because this thing, this thing's evolution is adorable. Like, I'll never, I'll never be able to make up for abandoning Fido. Oh, 
Oh, heck yes. He's gonna, she's gonna be more friendly toward me. Okay, I am going to name, it's the talk of Pokemon. <laughs> I'm gonna name you, um, I'm gonna name you Muffin. That's a character from Bluey. And she's a dog. And it's a pastry. Yeah, yeah. Um, muffin it is. Dog Spun is so adorable. So adorable. I love Dog Spun. I'm sad I ever did drop it from my team. But that's it for this episode. Um, next time, we will be taking on... And I promise you, I'll be taking on the seventh gym, as well as fourth Titan. I think is what we're at. I think we're at the fourth Titan. But I'll be taking them both on. We're gonna have a two and one. I haven't done one of that, those in a long time. But yeah, that's it for this episode. I need to get to bed so I can, like, not be tired tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.